the bottom. So I don't know, this is number 80, 89. All right, so what they're asking us to do is in this problem they're saying uh, use sigma notation to uh, write the sum, okay? So, um, so what we want to do is we want to be able to write this. So we have the sum of all the terms. So remember, it was sigma notation, all right? What we have is we have a couple components of our sigma notation. We have our starting, we have our initial time, our terminal, our end, and then we have the rule, all right? So let's go ahead and first look at our starting point, all right? And what we notice is the only thing that kind of, that's kind of changing here is our top numerator inside, um, inside of our brackets. So we can determine that we start at 1. So we can just say i equals 1. Then we go through all the way to the end, and we notice that they're ending at 8. Now what we simply need to do is determine what is the rule. How is everything changing from the first term to the eighth term? Well, the only thing that's changing is this fraction is the numerator, right? There's 2's remain the same, 8 remains the same, and your uh, three remains the same, huh? Two i over eight plus three. Well, remember, we we're not adding. We don't have to add a thing because remember, we start at the first term, and then we do the next term. So all yes, it is adding one. But remember, this is the first term. That's the second term, third term, and this would be the eighth term. So even though yeah, we're adding one, we're going to the next sequence. But our rule is just going to simply be two times i over 8 plus 3. Because for the first term, you put a 1 for i. For the second term, you put a 2 in for i. Third term, you put a 3. Fourth, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And there you go. Does that make sense with our initial terminal and rule?